What up guys, welcome to another episode of Survive and Thrive, where I believe that wherever you survive, you can thrive, and wherever you be, you can become alive. Now, on today's episode, we're going to speak on social media. Dun, dun, dun. There's this hype about social media and there's this obviously this ongoing epidemic of mental health and how that's affecting us as young adults, as adults, as our baby brothers and sisters and all of these things. We seem to be putting the blame on something that has been created for us to use and also to be used by. I think it's a topic that really is really dear to my heart and um, what I really think about it, think about of it is that it's like the law of attraction, you know? Imagine this, you speak something into your phone and your FBI agent or the algorithms on your phone pops up with that exact advert that you were talking about. Now, do I think it's bad? No. Do I think it's weird? 110%. But then it then directs me to be like, okay, what am I really saying? What are my intentions for this conversation? And what am I allowing into my world? And I think that's what social media is. I think social media is just humans on steroids. It's an extension of who we are as people, you know? That's what our mobile phones are. That's why when we go at somewhere and we leave our mobile phone somewhere, it's like, oh my God, where is my phone, you know? So, think about that, you know? Just think about that. Your mobile phone, an extension of you as a human being. Now, what don't I like about social media? What I really don't like about social media isn't actually social media. It's the people using social media, sometimes. Because there is a lot of complaining, there is a lot of moaning, there is a lot of this, that, and the other. It's also the false projection of who we are as human beings and that false projection like don't get me wrong isn't bad if you're if that's the future you're living into to me it's bad when you're using it to um soothe yourself to use it as a dummy to use it as a cigarette to use it as a sweet to use it as a drug cocaine heroin how extreme we'd like to go with it you know it's that's what i hate about it a tool being used to fuel uh, your ego, edging God out, you know, a fuel to uh, f a, a tool to fuel um, envy, a fuel to a, a tool to fuel <laughs> um, just all of these things that, at the end of the day, just destroy you. Another thing I don't like about social media is how addicted i am to it i can't spend a day without spending at least two three hours on instagram without even realize i just spent that many hours on it it's a bit weird it's a bit long it's a bit peak it's like where can i get my nourishment from that is not from that is not external and believe me that shit hard it's extremely hard to find that validation from within yourself because you have to clear up a lot of mess, a lot of roundabouts and a lot of twists and turns. What I've discovered from social media is that social media is just a tool now for me to um, build my brand. And my brand is me as a person. And now social media is like almost, is it now a responsibility for me to project what I wish to see and project what I wish to find in the world also, you know? Like, what I think is amazing about social media is the ability for us to remain interconnected, is the ability for us to find that message that we need to keep on going. There's so many times that I've been on Active Vibrations Instagram or Infinite Waters Instagram or even um, Tom Bailey's Instagram or even The Rock's Instagram, you know, and find something 
in the comments or even from the piece of content that keeps me going, that keeps me searching for, um, that keeps me hopeful, you know, um, what I love about social media is my ability to be recognized for what I truly believe in the world and to find other people who appreciate that what I appreciate and love about social media is my ability to flex don't get me wrong I love to flex I love to look good and I love to up for other people to appreciate that also you know a very short video key takeaways of social media how you use it why you use it what you are your intentions key things for using your phone what are your intentions if they're going to be listening to you and you don't like them why don't you say some shit that you like so you get an ad for fucking lollipops you know bring what you wish into your world and be extremely intentional about what you wish for meaning that unfollow everyone on your instagram on your twitter on your facebook that just brings you or sends negative messages like it's as simple as that what you choose to bring in your world will continue to manifest will con continue to occur so get rid of that shit or change the way it makes you feel like I, b I believe in taking the path of the least resistance because you don't need to be fighting yourself or everyone else and how they choose to live their lives and there's nothing wrong with that just let them do them and do you but be intentional in how you do you. Yeah.